Well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to the channel. This is our uh, a little mesh-tastic uh, solar node build. Going to try and build a really cheap, self-sustaining mesh-tastic uh, solar node that you know runs on its own and is not that expensive. So um, let's quickly look at the parts in there. We've got a rack wireless whiz block, the bigger one in this case. And you can see down the bottom there's a little 3D printed part to mount it on. I'll have the 3D prints available. So I also put a little uh, um, heat sink on this uh, um, uh, uh, rack wireless, just to be funny. Then you see a waterproof case, that's a $9 case. And you see a charging module, a 4056 charging module. I always like to have this external MPPT charging module to charge the battery separately from the Wiz block itself. Uh, then you see a 18650 battery and uh, you see a cheap uh, 30 millimeter 5 volt fan for the cooling. So let's get into the build. Uh, you know a solar node to me, uh, I've built several of those in the past and this is just a iteration on that. Uh, you know every time I, I build one I, I do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to build it um, and um, you know a solar node, uh, I'm going to build it in this case but uh, you know, and then I'll put something like mesh tastic or mesh core on there. Um, but yeah, this is building a uh, a, a LoRa solar node. So um, I've got this little case that, uh, and I'll put links to all of these things um, on on the on the site and in the uh, you know on, in the description. But um, this little case, you buy them, you get a little case like that. With it, you get. Uh, Two of these little things um, that comes with it. I think this is like nine dollars or something like that. So what I've got is I've got this case, and I'm going to put inside of it um, this rack um, whiz block. This is the full version. I've printed, and uh, you know I'll, I'll put links to these little prints there too. Just printed a little back back plate with little standoffs, and I've already mounted that on there. That really is just to to go inside there, um, uh, so that um, you, uh, you know that's that's the actual LoRa um, module um, that I can load mesh tastic on or mesh core on. So uh, with that um, comes uh, you know I'll put a little battery with it, and uh, I'll use this uh, 18650 battery that's going to go with it, and I always like using a external um, charge controller, MPPT controller. I'm going to put that with it. So um, those are wire up. And then uh, of course the antenna, I'll use this uh, type N connector. I love these with this uh, little uh, rubber gasket so that it seals when you make a hole. And uh, I'll stick this uh, Alpha 915 antenna on top. So these things, uh, you know, that stuff goes inside. This guy is going to go over here. I think I need a 5 over 8 to drill a hole at the top for that. So that's the electronics that will go inside. But, um, you know, on the outside, solar, uh, you know, these solar nodes, I, I, I'm trying to build something that's completely standalone and self-sufficient as small as, as possible. I, I mean I can build smaller cases than this but I like this case um, a lot. Um, but uh, the, the main thing with the, with the solar part is, and that's really where the, the difference comes in, is um, I'm going to use a, uh, a, a you know this um, little solar panel but that really is to drive a cooling fan and I'll talk about that in a second. And then I'll use these two uh, little solar panels to charge the battery to go through the MPPT controller. Uh, but um, I used to mount them directly on the case like this. But when the sun shines, these things are black and it heats up the case and gets very hot inside. So um, I then later decided I will use this kind of uh, a thing. And what this is, it's a... Um, sort of a, uh, a cover or a shield or a shade that I put on top of the case 
So the case essentially is in, is in the shade behind here. You can see there's an air gap there, a physical air gap. And this um, 3D part that I, that I printed and I designed and printed also has some, you know, rigid, you know, uh, some air vents where it can take the air away, you know, the heat away and dissipate some of the heat. It's got holes and uh, it's got a little feet. And on top of that feet, I can put I have these little 3D prints as well, which uh, go on here. And th these actually will just glue onto, you know, that case um, like that. And uh, then on top of this is where I'll mount the solar panels. So um, now, you know, the heat, these will heat up. It will actually heat this plate up. This plate will dissipate some of the heat. Um, but the actual case is in the shade. Um, and its only touch point is really these four feet. Um, but that should make it much cooler um, when um, this is facing the sun. So the sun beats on this, it heats up this, it loses some of the heat. Um, this doesn't heat up the case as much. And the case is essentially mostly in the shade. Now inside the case, um, I will also add, and uh, these cases come with these, two of these. This is for routing cables. So I'm going to put them both at the bottom. And the one will be for intake. Um, for uh, uh, um, uh, uh, air intake and the other one would be for letting air out. Um, to let air out I uh, have developed this little uh, 3D print and I have these um, little fans um, and like I said uh, you know the bigger solar panel one of the solar panels uh, uh, that I will mount on the outside I will actually wire up to this fan um, and uh, you know for sun shines the fan spins and uh, that will actually go on the inside so you uh, just insert it like that and that will sit over here uh, with this as an outlet um, so that um, you know it, it takes the air the fan spins the air comes out uh, um, and it pushes it out here this one will sit on this side it will suck in the air uh, this side and suck it out on that side and create some airflow inside here with of course the electronics which I explained. So let me uh, get going and, and see if I can build this quickly and um, I'll show you sort of uh, what I ended up with. Okay, uh, so now most of the, uh, uh, um, you know, that stuff's done. We've got the antenna at the top where uh, the Alpha would uh, screw into, uh, Alpha 915. Um, it's got this little gasket over there that stops uh, water because this goes to the top. The water can't get in there. And these two openings are at the bottom. So... Um, you know, water runs from the top, and um, because these seal, um, water won't get in. And then I'm going to put the fan on top of that um, over there, so that um, you know there's some airflow. So um, next, let me uh, connect up all the electronics and the fan and the solar panels, um, and let's see uh, where we uh, end up after that.
so uh, there's everything now sort of assembled um, batteries over here charge controller with uh, the two small uh, solar panels running into that um, and a battery running into the charge controller and then the output of a charge controller goes into this little plug um, power plug for the whiz block, the rack whiz block um, always check your polarity on these things um, positive on this side but yeah uh, the antenna, the LoRa antenna is connected the fan is connected to the bottom one I'll try and show you now if it turns in the sun it should so everything I think is good uh, the only thing missing now is of course the battery and then putting software on this so uh, let's try and get the battery in there let me just make sure everything's there positive negative that's battery terminals then uh, the output negative positive to here the input from these two positive and negative yep I think that's it um, the antenna is connected you don't want to start this without an antenna on so uh, let's see what happens I'm inserting that and nothing of course happens um, yeah, obviously I now need to load some software on this. We'll get that going in a second here. But um, yeah, um, that is the, the controller. Let me take this outside and uh, just show you in the sun. I think this charge controller only uh, kicks on once it gets a little bit of sun um, uh, to, to, to start the process. So let me take this outside and try and show you. Yeah, as expected, the moment I uh, held the, the charge controller in the sun, of the uh, solar panels in the sun, you could see the, the little um, rack board boot up here. It now has power. You could see the green LED come on there. And then um, also, if we look at the fan closely over here, um, the fan over there, We'll see that the moment that goes into the sun, uh, you'll see the fan start spinning. And um, so, yeah, that's the plan. Okay, then to just summarize this video, um, this little build video of a uh, standalone solar node, because this unit is now completely standalone. Um, it generates its own, charges its own battery. It does its own cooling. Um, it has this air gap so that uh, the case isn't that much in the sun um, so that helps and then um, it's got a intake you can actually adjust the size of the intakes over here the intake and the outlet um, so air goes in on one side and is blown out the other side by um, this little fan over here that we put in there uh, so air comes in, circulates, and is sucked out and blown out the other one. We've got a rack in there. You can see it's flashing already because um, the charge controller started. It's got an MPPT charge controller. It's got a, a battery, and it's got a uh, 915 alpha antenna on a uh, type N, I think, type N connector there. So uh, next would be to load the software which I will do in a, uh, um, another video, I guess. But um, yeah, this is a nice little unit. I can now, at the back here, um, oh, uh, one thing I have to do, of course, I drill two little holes here to bring the cables through. I will just seal these two holes with uh, silicone just so that uh, water doesn't get in. Water can't get in the top. It can get in here and uh, only places from the bottom. Um, where there's two holes uh, but you know if you mount it this way uh, water wouldn't get in there and on the back here you can uh, you know tie that to a pole or you can put pads on and stick it against a uh, you know a building or something to that effect I'm actually going to put little cable tie holders on here so that I can just tie it to a pole that I have outside so this thing is completely standalone alone now 
it can uh, live on its own and um, it can be a uh, mesh tastic or a mesh core node that uh, provides uh, you know those services so uh, stay uh, tuned for the next video thank you